What's going on guys? Welcome back to our Mario Odyssey Let's Play. It's Time Zone and we are uh, going right back up on top of this building, I guess. Uh, but in the last episode, we beat this Mecha Wriggler monster that was just sucking energy out of the city and uh, just spelling doom for everybody involved. And now we are here in a much brighter, sunnier town with people walking the streets and uh, enjoying their days. We are going to just finish up collecting our moons in this episode and the next before we move on to the next kingdom. And I'm actually super psyched to see what else is in the city besides this guy driving the car around and we already saw inside that little area over there um, a little bit more of a professional RC car raceway. And I actually really loved, I didn't mention this in the last episode, but I really did enjoy the uh, the music that was playing in that race, it was very Mario Kart. I think it was from Mario Circuit. Um, but let's just see what's going on in this uh, in this sewer. Let's move right to the side and jump in. Really, uh, really living up to his plumbing name right here, going right into an actual sewer in the city. Okay, another one of these little sunshine levels, except we still have the cap and. Every time I see a piranha plant, I'm so disappointed that you can't actually become a piranha plant. But, okay. So we can flip these things around. Throw the hat at them. Let's flip this upwards. Grab this. I can't though, right? I actually can't. Yeah, they eat, they eat Cappy. Poor guy just sacrifices himself. And then we jump on him to get him right back out. Okay. This is like not too bad so far. It's really straightforward. I mean, I've pretty much gotten the hang of this mechanic already. So there isn't too much of a challenge here. I guess you could find the optimal way of getting around. And that's a little bit more interesting, but you can just hit these things, make them spin, move on to the next room. I'm not even gonna touch that piranha plant. You guys, you can do your own thing. Oh, there's a moon on the side. Look at that. You could obviously, I guess looking back on it, jump to the top of this little glass maze thing and grab that moon to the side. So let's do that. Uh, how do I get out of here? Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, wasn't not challenging. Oh, what? Oh. Alright. This is how we get out of here. I, I did not realize the door was right there. I thought it was next to the blue thing. Uh, the blue wall over there. But before we grab that moon, I'm gonna go over here, kick these off to the side, and just grab whatever is here. Bam, outside the rotating maze. So that's one. I guess we're gonna hit this skip right back up. I am a little, uh, I'm a little, s it's not like sad is not the right word, but I wish they didn't include purple coins in these little side levels with the, that you get in through pipes and clearly manholes. Uh, because then I have to kind of scour around and make sure I didn't miss any of the purple coins. I wish they were just all in the overworld. And for the most part they are, but is there anything up here? Uh, just, that is way tall. I don't think I can do anything up there. So we're gonna roll right out of this rotating maze. How are you guys doing today? It's, uh, it's a Saturday here in LA. Another nighttime, nighttime recording. My roommates are out for a couple hours doing some kind of wine tasting thing. And I was like, wine tasting. I want to I want to play video games and talk to you guys and uh, just sit in here in my cozy little hoodie and have a night in for once for once. But I think I saw a moon back there as well. So that's this is some attention. This is I'm I am focusing attention on the details here and making sure I don't miss anything or miss too much because <laughs> I know I'm missing things left and right. Definitely. Well. Playing this game and talking to you guys. So, we are exiting that little thing. This is, is this another slot machine game? Oh, this is like from the Sand Kingdom. It's the same, the same markings as the Sand Kingdom. I'm gonna grab these real quick first. And then we'll go in. I guess this is like a traveling Sand Kingdom franchise. There's four of them this time, okay. I wonder if I can just shoot my cap across all four of them at one time and get them. It looks like, okay, it looks like the fourth one is the last to come in, so I'm just gonna throw it from here. And I have a, I have a pretty good feeling about this. Oh! Okay, I got three of them. I got three of them, which is sweet. Alright. 
four. There we go. That wasn't bad at all. It wasn't bad at all. Call me the slot master. Slot zone over here. About to about to go over to Vegas and just test my luck on getting some moons. More likely just uh, losing hundreds of dollars and maybe winning uh, ten or twenty. That's that's a little more like it. That's a little more like it. Yeah, that's just one. That's just one coin. What are you What are you doing, time zones? Going crazy. Yeah, just park that thing anywhere, pal. That's hilarious. Underground to the power plant. So I guess. Oh, when is this thing gonna be out of here? How do I even? How do I get that? How do I get this taxi out? Is this like post game maybe? Power plant. I mean, that seems pretty sick. Outdoor cafe. Oh, can we go in here? All right, let's check this out. Wow, there is a lot of people here. Uh, what do I? Do? What happens if I hit this? Switch? I get a moon. Is this timed? Oh, it's definitely timed. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, no. Wow. Okay. Okay. So that's why there's so many people here. That's why there's so many people here. I didn't even. I just kept on talking like, like an idiot. Instead of focusing on getting that moon, is there anything interesting here? Smack, smack garbage all over the place. Just kick that, kick that garbage bag, Mario. Kick it. All right. This time, this time we got this. Here we go. Here we go. Make way, people. Make way. Triple jump. There we go. There we go. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Good stuff. Anything? Can I go up here? Oh wow, okay, there's definitely cool stuff up here. I did not realize I could bounce that high from these things. Wow, okay, about to do some acrobatics. There we go, and another moon high over the crowd. Ooh, we are, we are definitely high up here. Can I walk into this area? No, it's just, I'm not allowed! Let me in! I can't. It's only for people, it's only for actual humans and not Italians. What are you trying to say, Nintendo? What are you trying to say? Man, messed up, messed up, folks. That's messed up. Oh, okay, and a rocket ship. So this is, are you about to go somewhere completely new? I'm looking for some purple. I'm just looking for that purple, fam. Just looking for some of that purple. Can I climb this? Anything up here? Oh, there's the purple. Nope. Okay. I always have such a hard time on these. Okay, there we go. Alright. Let's rock it out of here. Ooh, more acrobatics. Man, Mario, this little plumber, he's he's definitely got some skill. He's definitely got some jumping, spinning skill. Whatever else they say in Jump Up Superstar, I think they pretty much name everything in there. Where I do all my training. Okay, Goku. Okay, I see you. I see you in disguise over here. Oh! Okay, wow, we made it. I just gotta wait for that thing to come back. I was, I got a little overzealous there. Overzealous zone. Whoa, all right. Can I jump onto that from here? Yup. Okay, just keep on, keep on swinging, Mario. Keep on swinging, and here we are. What an athlete! What an athlete. Okay, so there's a little bit more. Are there secrets? Is there any like secret moons in here? I must have missed one on the left side of this, like where we just came from. I must have missed one, I'm sure. There's probably like an alternate route somewhere. I think all, like most of these tend to have a few alternate routes where you can get, uh, get some nice old secret moons. I'm gonna wait till I'm up here. And then, oh. Oh, how do I? Can I, how do I get those? Do I need to go here? No! Oh, okay. That was totally by accident. But I guess I can... Oh, there we go. I don't even know what I did. I just pressed the trigger. I just pressed the trigger and almost died. But we made it. We made it through. We made it all the way. So let's grab this and get the heckles out of here. Hanging from a high rise. That's hanging from a high rise. 
Don't know if that's the best uh, way to name that moon over there. I'm not the biggest fan of that. Okay, so let's take this right back out. Uh, third time the charm. Third time the charm. All right, and I guess I have to walk through all these people. Get back out of here. So let's do that. Let's do that. Just hop, hopping over these guys' heads like they're leap frogs. Like they are the frogs. I guess you are the leap frog. You are the leap frog or leaping frog. You are a leaping frog. Where's that music coming from? Uh oh. Okay, there's Mayor Pauline right here. Look at this guy. Groove those feet to a concrete beat. Can I do anything with this guy? Oh, I guess I could. I can play some drums. Cappy's learning drums over here. What's over? What's what's going on? Yeah, there we go. It's awesome that you can interact with pretty much anything you see sticking out from the uh, from the background. What's this? Oh, Captain Toad. Dude, what are you doing? Oh, this is also from either a trailer or some uh, promotional materials for sure. Man, seeing this just reminds me of the first time I saw the trailer for this game. People were like, oh my god, a city. And it's New York. <laughs> it's my baby. They need the next game to be uh, LA. Pull a little bit of a uh, Grand Theft Auto there from 4 to 5. Just switch cities, man. New Donk. What would Los Angeles be called? What would they call Los Angeles? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below! Let me know what y'all think. I would just love to hear what y'all think about anything. Let me know your thoughts. Okay, so that building I can clearly climb. We've already been in here. I don't want to really do like a repeated exploration of that. But look at this rooftop cafe. Rooftop cafe. I'm feeling like rumble. I'm feeling rumbling, so. I. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is more of that. There we go, okay. It's really neat, this is another uh, great game design choice, where in Sand Kingdom there was that game where they said, feel for the moon, when it rumbles you'll know you're on top of it. And now I guess that translates to the outside, to the outside world, to other kingdoms pretty much. Um, it's not like this is the outside world and everything else, it's just fantasy. Is it? Is that how it is? Can we go? Let's go down here. I guess that was the entrance to get up here and get this moon. Um, but let's just see what lies below. Trash. Trash. Trash and garbage. Trash and garbage and trash. That's it. That's where a little old toad, toad was. Excuse me. Um, can I get that thing? No! I wanna land. I wanna land on that ledge. Can I even land on that ledge? I don't think so. Let's do this. No, okay. I, I don't know how to get to that flingy thing. That flingle! Uh, but we, all, we only need three more moons here, so what I'm gonna do is talk to Paulina, see what her deal is, and hopefully we can get some... Maybe we could get a, a multi-moon out of this. This seems like it'll be the, the main story. It really means the world to me. Festival. Four backup musicians. Sweet. Okay. So there. This is a. This is a big mission. Let's grab this guy. Right off the bat, drummer. Man, Pauline really likes the city. Oh, are each of them gonna give us a moon? Drummer on board. That's one. Look at that texture on the moon there. Look at that texture. It's like porcelain or something. Oh, we're in here. Look at this guy. Just jamming out. Very cool. Alright, she's probably just gonna ask for more uh, more musicians, so I'm gonna look. I think I saw I think I saw a guitarist or something over there. Where was he? He was there was some like town square or something. What's down there? Look at this. Let's check this out. Oh, there's some broken stuff. A football. <laughs> Punt that thing out of here. Seeing a trash makes me feel bad for it. What is this? Oh, was this the giant spider? 
Or a spider. Uh, like caterpillar centipede looking thing. Oh, here we go. Bassist. I'm down. Each of them is gonna give us a moon. So we're getting four moons out of this mission alone. And then very likely a multi-moon after that. Okay, we got drum and drum and bass. Drum and bass, a little percussion, a little bass. <laughs> what else do you call it? I mean strings, yeah, technically, but I want something a little more specific, you know? Something a little more specific. Okay, here I think he was here. This must be the town square, right? There he is. Okay, there's the guitarist. Okay. Yeah, Mario, snap your fingers to the beat. Look at that. Mario's having a good old time, grand old time. These ladies, this lady's really enjoying the guitarist. I mean, that's why I, I can play guitar, actually. Ladies, I can play guitar. Want an autograph? Civic <laughs> Project. Yeah, glad you're doing it for all the right reasons, buddy. Money's important though, especially for artists, aspiring artists, money is going to be a big factor in the decisions they make. So I'm glad Pauline is contributing a little bit to the community, and there's so many people here now. Oh, this is, this is almost there. I guess the last thing we need is a vocalist, right? Last thing we need is a vocalist. Okay, I think, I think. I mean, what else? These are all the, the general makings of a band. All right, where's the vocalist gonna be? Um, you know what? I think this episode is starting to reach around 17, 18 minutes, and it'll take a while to go around finding the musician, or the singer, I'm pretty sure. So what I'm gonna do is leave you guys off for this one, and uh, we'll find the musician right in the next episode, complete the band, see whatever Pauline's doing with the festival, and I think it'll be super, super exciting. So, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe for more, comment on uh, any interesting things that's going on with you guys, thoughts on the game, thoughts on life, thoughts on me, <laughs> and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.